Well, are you guys ready to have some fun today? <laughs> I hope so, because I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you from A to Z how to make a perfect flower. And it's really not that difficult. If you just go slow, follow along with my steps, and you'll find that it is so easy. So what I, okay, what I did first, you can see I have just a slight background on here. Um, landscape brush, the one inch landscape brush, and I just put in a little bit of color. Um, I didn't want to spend my time with the painting a flower doing a background, so we're going to get right into it. So now that my background is in, and I used a mixture of 25% linseed oil and 75% uh, thinner, and it's water mixable oil and thinner. So you want to make sure of that. So to get started, let's just do uh, a slight little uh, idea of where this flower is going to go. So I'm going to go right in here. This does not have to be exact. This is just a very rough sketch. And it's probably about the size of my fist. That's a good size for this size canvas. Now this is an 8 by 10. So you can use a larger one if you like, or you can use a smaller one. There is my center flower. So when the outline is in, and next I want to do a little bit of a leaf idea. So I'm just going to get a little mix of oil. I'm, while I'm dipping in here, I have this, this is where I have my medium. It's just in a little cup. And I just dip into it just a little bit. Well, let's just go ahead and let's put a leaf in here. And another leaf here. And maybe one here. How about, let's do two over here. Maybe one down here, and that should be good. And I always wipe off my brush in between each color that I use. I don't clean it, I just wipe it off really good. If you need to clean it, just a little bit of water and make sure it's really dry before you start out again. So the next step is let's paint the leaves. Um, I'm going to take, this is a flat brush, a floral flat brush. This one happens to be a Langnickel dip into a little medium. And um, let's go in into a little blue and some green. And just load that brush really well on both sides. Now to do a leaf is just so simple. You just touch and curve and bring in. I'm going to need a little more medium. Okay, touch. Pull in and uh, in. Let's do that again. And I'm doing these two outside leaves because I want this leaf to be in the center. By the way, if you don't know me, my name is Jovette and you're painting along with me today. Then let's do this one. And I don't necessarily make this the same color every time. Like sometimes they may be more green, sometimes they may be more blue. And if you want a heavier leaf, you know, a more solid color, you can always fill in this part first. I kind of like it this lighter color, kind of like uh, you can see through it almost. Okay, let's go into more blue this time. How about over here? We'll do this, this, and this. And this one I'm just doing three strokes. Some of them I do a lot uh, more strokes in it, but I just kind of like this for today. And this leaf here. Now you notice as I do this, I touch, curve in, 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 and then a little line. I'm going to do more blue on this last one. Let's touch and go in, in, in.
there. They're not super huge leaves, but they're pretty, aren't they? <laughs> I like them. Okay, now that that's done, we've got the leaves. Let's go ahead and just, I'm just wiping off most of this paint. And I'm going to go into some yellow. Because what I'm going to do, while this is still nice and light here, I'm going to just highlight with just a little bit of yellow. Maybe not everywhere, but all mostly on the tips of the leaves. Oh, I don't know I want to do that one. Let's do this one. And notice I'm wiping off in between because I'm picking up a lot of green. So I'm just wiping off. And maybe I will just touch this one. Let's do this side. Good. And then what I want to do is highlight some of this underbrush under, underneath the leaf. Um, let's dip into the medium and let's go into a little alizarin. And let's go down here. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. Okay, let's do this one here. A little more medium. Now notice I'm not doing every leaf. I think let's do these let's do these others in purple here. Because the color of the per the flower is purple. So a little purple down here would be very nice. Right here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And I want to take just a touch of yellow. Come here. Here. Here and here. And then, with a touch of crimson, I want to just hit the backs of the leaf, just so that it's a little bit at the root of the, of the leaf. There, yeah, that's going to be very pretty. If something is too bright, just hit it again. Okay, our next step, after I've wiped that off well, the next step is to put in the purple. So I'm dipping into my medium. This is my floral brush. So far I've only used two brushes. Uh, this round brush, by the way, was a number four, uh, just a number four round brush. Okay, got this. Oh, way too much medium. Let's wipe that off, dip a little more clean, go into the purple. Oh, is that pretty? Woo <laughs> that is going to be nice. This was you guys' request, was that I do a purple flower. Well, there's something brand new on my channel that I don't know if you guys noticed or not. It's called Thanks, and it's right underneath my video, and it's a little heart shape with a little dollar sign in it. And what that is, is that if you click on it, you can leave a small amount of money to me for my expenses for painting supplies and whatnot. It can be $2, $5, or whatever denomination. It gives you different denominations. But wow, this is just a great, wonderful thing because a lot of people have asked me how can they help me out. Always first is by thanking me by, um, by clicking the like and then the share. But this new thanks thing is actually a dollar value, which is fantastic. It's available to, I think, almost all creators now. So it's a good way for you to support your local artists that you may love. Set that brush aside, and now I want to go back to my little round brush. I'm going to dip into a little medium, 
and some white, just plain white. So what I'm going to do is outline this flower for you so you can see where we're going. First you need to decide what direction it is going and we could go this way, this way, we could go down, but I think for this flower because of the way it's designed I think we'll just go this way. So we're just going to draw a little heart shape here. And you know what? I'd wanted to put actually some dark blue in here first. Just dark blue, nothing else, no medium, just dark blue under here and just I know it's going to be very, very hard to see, but it's there. <laughs> okay, wipe that brush off, go back to this round brush. Okay, now we have a heart here. So what I want you to do is draw a crazy smile and then a pair of lips. That's what I would think of if I were going to do this, <laughs> if I were going to try and describe it. It would be like a crazy pair of lips. Does that look like a lip? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, next, a little more white. Let's draw a petal here and a petal here. Now I highly suggest that you do this when you're learning to paint um, a flower because these steps will help you get familiar with what you're actually doing. So more white and what we're going to do is have a petal here, a petal here, and a petal here. See now that gives you an idea of exact, exactly where we're going to go with this. The next step is to grab your flat brush again, make sure it's wiped out, and we're going to go into just a touch of medium. When I say a touch I mean just a little tiny bit. Go into some white, add a little purple to it because we don't want a pure white, just a light color. That's probably good right there. Okay, hold your brush back if you can. It, it gives you more uh, freedom to flow. This is going to be one petal here. So let's just go ahead and do this. So we come in, S shape, and lift. Let's do another one. And you're always pulling towards this, this center part right here. Let's do another leaf, or another petal. In, 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 and in. Now we have two petals. Very lovely. Load the brush again. Now with these lips, let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to be kind of pulling down to these two points right here. This is going to be one petal here, so let's just go ahead and do this. Pull, 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 and pull. A little more white, and this time let's pull in from the other side. Down and curve, up and pull. Watch what I'm doing very closely. This petal is going to actually come right here. So this petal is overlapping the first one we just did. So now we have a petal here and a petal here. Let's go ahead and do one more petal here and just S curve, pull, pull, pull. Let's do another petal on the other side. Pull, pull, 
pull, pull, and pull. So you're pulling in towards, always towards the center of the flower. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do this, let's do this one here. Pull, 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 and pull. Again, I'm pulling in towards the center here. Try to get these little S-curves because that is what is so pretty. And use vary your, um, vary your uh, out, outer side, outer edges so that they're not all the same. And we will do one last petal here. Pulling in towards the center. Okay, now what's left is to define the flower. Because you can see pretty much what it is now. But when we define it, let me first take, I want to take off this darker color here. And I want to squeeze out what paint is in the brush. Uh, grab a new paper towel. Okay, now to define this, this is the fun part. Go into your medium, pull out some white, Again, not pure white, and, it, and you have purple in the brush already. So when you go through the white, it's going to have some of that little bit of purple in it, which is great. Okay, let's go here. Now we're just refining these little tips. And always with white, always just, just touch the tip of your brush on a paper towel. It gets off the dark purple. Let's do this one here, this petal. There is a lovely place for a ruffle. So you just touch and pull. Didn't show up, let's do it again. Touch and pull, there. So now you can see here this leaf, this petal here. That's defined more. Let's make even a little bit more of a def definition. More white. Let's do, let's see, this one still needs there. That's better. That's what I was looking for. Uh, let's do this one here. Touch. I'm doing the outer edges this time. And see, that's more defined. You can see that. Maybe this one just a hair more. More white. And see how this one is coming down? Well, we'll just attach that to this. Pull in, in, in. Perfect. We can highlight it some more. And wow, look how that popped it. can do the same thing over here. And how about under here? Wow, I see another perfect place for a ruffle. Did you see this? See how I do this? Touch 
and pull in. And see how that is a natural place for a ruffle. Like so. Define it if you need to, and I need to do that with this one. There. You can just go ahead and define anything more that you want, any place you want highlighted. And I see a couple more places. This one here needs a little bit of highlight. And your flower is going to be a little bit different than mine. So just look at your flower and see where you want highlights. Okay, that is looking very good. Now I want to smooth this out just a tiny bit here. And the reason being is because I want to darken that center and put in the little uh, pollen things, <laughs> whatever they're called. You can tell I know a lot about flowers, huh? <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> oh. Okay, for that I'm going to go back to my little round brush for the center. I want to go into, well let's not do any medium, let's just do the crimson on one side and yellow on the other. And we'll just touch. And it's picking up a lot of purple so you may have to do it again. And you can even wait till this is dry, that will work too. With this round brush, go into a little brown, maybe with some blue also to make the brown a little bit darker. And, well, let's see, you could have a little. A little stick here. Maybe there's one coming out here. I'm just wiggling my brush a little bit. Maybe here. Let's just add a couple of little daisies. Uh, no, one daisy. Let's do one daisy. Dip into the medium. And make sure you don't have too much medium. Go into white with maybe a touch of blue. That would be pretty. A blue daisy. Pale blue. I'm loading both sides of my brush. And let's put the daisy right here. So a touch, touch, touch. Wipe because you picked up a lot of green. And I'm kind of double loading. I have blue on one side, white on the other. And let's just do this, 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 and this. Yeah, it turned out nice. And how about, oh, a different flower. Let's do, um, oh, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a four leaf, I think it's got. One, two, three, four. I don't even know what those are called. 
but that didn't come out too much. Let's do that, that, and that. Okay, that's better. And more white and blue. Now I'll tell you, once this is dry, I'm going to go back in and highlight these flowers a little bit because they're not showing up very much. And we'll go in with a little crimson here and just touch, touch, touch. And with the yellow, wiping off, with the yellow, we'll just do, a, let's do this one first. Touch, touch, and touch. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, here's a couple more videos and floral that you might like to view. And be sure and check out that thanks button just to see what it is. There's no obligation. You can just click on it and see what it says. Okay, have a great day. Bye.